I was going to do a clever misdirection play for the argument, describing something that sounds like our president, but it's actually some despot. But you know what? There's no need for any device or to be clever. American presidents don't lift up bad guys, and that's a good thing. Strong men prey on pandering. But for some reason, this president panders like we have never seen before. Look at the contrast. Reagan, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down that wall. This president, nice wall. Those Russians sure can build. You know, look, this isn't funny. It's absurd, which can play. Absurdity can play as comedy until the consequence comes. The oppression from a despot. And worse, the inability to counter a despot because of how to, out of position the U.S. is from all the pandering. No recent president, Republican or Democrat, has tried flattery of foreign fascist types for two reasons. It's not in America's interests to embrace those who would destroy democracy. And personally, embracing bad guys diminishes their position. But not this president. Putin, Kim, Duterte, El Sisi, now Orban. Look at Viktor Orban in Hungary for what he is. No real free press. Slam so-called fake news, cozying up to Putin, hard line on immigration, accused of starving asylum seekers. He recently said this, we must defend Hungary as it is now. We must state, we don't want to be diverse. We don't want to be mixed. We do not want our own, we want our own color, traditions, and national culture to be mixed with those of others. We don't want that. We do not want this. We do not want that at all. We do not want to be a diverse country. Sound familiar? That's because it is familiar. Here's Steve King of GOP Congress infamy. You cannot rebuild your civilization with somebody else's babies. You've got to keep your birth rate up and that you need to teach your children your values. And in doing so, then you can grow your population and you can strengthen your culture. You can strengthen your way of life. That's the same Steve King that our president still refuses to criticize. People wonder why. My question is, why wonder? He's now praising Orban for the same reason that he won't go against King. He's okay with what they say. Viktor Orban has uh, done a tremendous job in so many different ways. Highly respected, respected all over Europe. Uh, probably like me, a little bit controversial, but that's okay. That's okay. You've done a good job and you've kept your country safe. No, not safe. Safe from what? Democracy? Diversity? Not respected all over Europe. Look at the organizations there and what they're saying about him. In 2015, Orban, Trump, Trump, he built this big-ass fence and sold it as a way to protect Hungary from an invasion of asylum seekers. And then he tried to build Brussels, the central seat of the EU, saying that they owed Hungary for protecting all the citizens of Europe from the flood of illegal migrants. It's as if he wrote a script for this president. And I know the pushback, it can't hurt to be nice. It depends on whom you choose to be nice to and why. My argument is, we know why. And I don't need to say it, because this president's own person says it. No irony, his ambassador to Hungary, David Kornstein, the US ambassador there, told The Atlantic in a new interview, Trump, quote, would love to have the situation that Viktor Orban has. There you go. Now, we call it out because you, what you ignore, you empower. So we call it out. You allow an administration to flout oversight, shirk cons constitutional mandates, badmouth your judiciary, stack the courts with ideological exemplars, constantly seek wedge issues, carving the country into us and them, you mix in an increasingly hostile attitude toward longtime friends and warmth for perceived foes, where does it end up? The most obvious point here is that you do not hear this president's pal saying, Orban is a bad guy, POTUS is nothing like him. They're saying the opposite. My argument is, enough with the rationales, Enough with reaching for reasons for why this might make sense in some alternate reality. See it for what it is. This president says nice things about the people that he admires.